Okay, so thermochemistry, heat of neutralizations. First of all, we need to know the definitions. Huh? So heat of neutralization is the heat energy evolved or released when an acid reacts with a base. Okay, so when acid re react with a base, then the reaction is called a neutralization reaction. Huh? Okay, heat of neutralization is the heat energy evolved when an acid reacts with a base per mole of the acids or base. Okay. Uh, all measurements are made under standard state conditions. Okay, let's change the definitions a little bit. Eh? Okay, because in SPM, in SPM, I think we, we better give this. Heat of neutralization is the heat energy evolved when an acid reacts with a base to produce to produce one one mole of water. Okay, uh, per mole of the acid or base, this one you cancel. Okay. This is the heat of neutralization, sir. Okay, so in SPM, uh, we, we better give this. Heat of neutralization is the heat energy evolved when an acid reacts with a base to produce one mole of water. So it means, uh, okay, it means when an acid reacts with a base, for example, hydrochloric acid react with uh, uh, sodium hydroxide, okay, sodium hydroxide, and then it produces salt and water. How much heat released when one mole of water form? Eh? One mole of water form, how much heat released? Uh, that is called the heat of neutralization. So uh, before this, we have learned that for all kinds of heat of reactions, we, you must know which substance we are referring to for the per mole, right? Heat of reaction is always uh, how much heat released per one mole of something, okay? And you need to know uh, the per mole is per mole of what? Uh, and for neutralization is per mole of the water produced. Eh? So that is the definitions of a uh, heat of neutralization. Okay, and examples of heat change of neutralization is the heat change obtained in the reactions between sodium hydroxide and hydrochloric acid. Uh, uh, it is the equations that I showed you just now, right? Okay, so sodium hydroxide to react with uh, hydrochloric acid produces sodium chloride and uh, water. And from here, it shows that the heat of uh, reaction, so heat of neutralization is negative 57 kilojoule per mole. Now, from the heat of reaction here, can you please tell me this uh, reaction is exothermic or endothermic? It's exothermic, yeah? okay, how do we know? Because you see the heat of neutralization or heat of reaction is negative. Negative means that heat is released to the surrounding. Yeah? It's an exothermic reaction. So it means that to form one mole, yeah? One mole means uh, 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23, yeah? okay? So to form this amount of uh, water molecule, it will release 57 kilojoule of uh, heat energy. So that's heat of neutralization. Uh, example, eh? examples of neutralizations, uh, hydrochloric acid with sodium hydroxide, sulfuric acid, potassium hydroxide, ethanoic acid, sodium hydroxide, nitric acid, barium hydroxide, okay? So all of these, uh, all of these reactions are uh, uh, neutralization reactions, okay? And then let's see the ionic equations, huh? The ionic, this is not half equation, this is ionic equations, huh? Ionic equations. And then you should realize that no matter what, what the acids that we use, okay? What the acid, the hydrochloric acid or sulfuric acid, ethanoic acid or nitric acid, whatever the acid that you use and whatever the hydroxide that you use, the ionic equation is the same. Sodium with hydroxide, water. Sodium, hydroxide, water. Sodium, hydroxide, water. Sodium, hydroxide, water. And from the definitions, we know that heat of neutralization is how much heat released when, mo when the water molecule form, right? It says uh, uh, how much heat released when one mole of water molecule form. Huh? So from here, since, uh, since these reactions only involve hydrogen and hydroxide, okay, to produce water. So, and for each equation, uh, the reaction is the same. Just hydrogen react with water, uh, hydroxide to produce water. Therefore, we can predict that the heat of neutralization will be the same for all the neutralization reactions. Okay, why? Because what, what really happened is the same. No matter what kinds of acid or alkali that you use, what really happened is the hydrogen ions react with hydroxide ion to produce water. So the reaction is the same, okay? If the reaction is the same, then the amount of heat released should be the same, which, is, uh, uh, which, which means uh, the heat of neutralization should be the same for all neutralization reactions.
theoretically it's like that but um, as I told you just now if we use weak acid then uh, the heat of neutralization may be different okay I will explain to you why eh? so conclusion the heat of neutralization of a strong acid with a strong alkali is almost the same for all acid and alkalis why because the reaction is the same eh? that is uh, hydrogens react with hydroxides to produce water okay to produce water okay so because the same reactions take place uh, and the reaction is hydrogen ion react with hydroxide ions to produce water hydrogen ion is the ions from acid and hydroxide ion is the ions from alkali 